Mr. President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, at the outset, St. Vincent and the Grenadines aligns ourselves with the statements made on behalf of the Caribbean community, the non-aligned movement, and the member states of the Bolivarian Alternative for the Americas. St. Vincent and the Grenadines categorically condemns in the strongest possible terms the coup d'etat engineered by the armed forces of Honduras against the legitimately elected government of Jose Manuel Zelara, Zelaya Rosales, President of the Republic of Honduras. This action is illegal and wholly unwarranted and represents a gross violation of the rule of law and the norms of civilized nations. We call for the immediate restoration of the constitutional order, including the restoration to power of President Zelaya and his government, and for the full respect of democratic norms. The leaders of the Honduran military have dishonored themselves in this naked grab for power. In violently forcing President Zelaya into temporary exile, kid kidnapping sitting members of government, and violating international law through the abduction, physical mistreatment, and abuse of foreign diplomats, the architects of this shameful coup d'etat have indeed heralded a return to barbarism as stated by President Cristina Fernandez of Argentina. St. Vincent and the Grenadines joins those nations that have called unequivocally for the immediate return of President Zelaya to his legitimately elected post and duties. We do not recognize the purported new governments of Honduras and urge other nations to similarly reject any government other than the one freely chosen by the people of Honduras. In our hemisphere, we have firmly turned the page on an ignominious chapter of anti-democratic military power grabs, unsupported by the vast majority of the people and encouraged solely by a selfish and short-sighted elite. We urge international solidarity in condemning this cowardly and anti-democratic action and in demanding the prompt return to office of President Zelaya and his government. We all have an obligation to ensure that the popular will is respected through prompt restoration of the democratic order. St. Vincent and the Grenadines expresses particular concern and outrage as a member of the Caribbean community. One of our members, Belize, is a near neighbor of Honduras, and the current unrest therefore directly touches and concerns the central interests of our subregion. Similarly, as a signatory to the Bolivarian Alternative for the Americas, we are doubly outraged that this brutal and criminal affront to democratic institutions, safety, and stability of a brother state. It is through the solidarity, unanimity, and unequivocal condemnation of all sub-regional, sub regional, and international multilateral institutions, including the Organization of American States and the United Nations, that this despicable aberration will be beaten back into the dustbin of obsolete and discredited extrajudicial tactics. St. Vincent and the Grenadines also salutes the bravery of the Honduran people who have signaled their rejection of these illegal and barbaric acts by the military and its co-conspirators. We continue to urge a peaceful resolution to this conflict and call for a non-violent restoration of the constitutional order. St. Vincent and the Grenadines therefore reiterates its solidarity with President Manuel, Jose Manuel Zelaya Rosales, his government and the noble people of Honduras. Mr. President, permit me, like my brother, the permanent representative of Cuba, to also quote Jose Marti, the apostle of Cuban independence. Marti said, and I quote, one just principle from the depths of a cave is more powerful than an army, unquote. Today, we must reaffirm the just principles of human rights, democracy, nonviolence, and respect for the rule of law. With firm adherence to these just principles, and with the unstinting support of the international community, the people of Honduras shall soon prove to be more powerful than the military dictators. I thank you very much.